Yep. Okay, it's your girl Lil Spaghetti coming at you. <laughs> oh no. Oh my gosh. That just happened. That no. that just happened. That's going You're not in the vlog. Put that, are you? I'm putting that in the vlog. We're gonna be grabbing some breakfast now at this place called Graham. It's this like specialty pancake place. I haven't had breakfast here yet, so hopefully it's good. It is absolutely beautiful outside in Harajuku today. It's like the perfect temperature, super sunny. The way the sun hits your skin feels like you're on vacation. Like I just want to take a nap in a hammock right now. That's how, how good it feels. There's a nice light breeze too, so it's not too hot. And uh, I feel like I could use some shaved ice later today. So Japanese shaved ice is gonna have to be a must. So the main point of today's vlog will be thrift shopping in Japan or going to the recycled shops with all the hypey streetwear. Kindo Harajuku, which is right beside Atmos, and we're gonna see what they have there. They might have some heat. This is the same location I ended up buying the box logo camouflage supreme sweater. So maybe maybe they'll have some hidden gems like last time. But since I bought that piece for about like 600 bucks, the prices have gone up to about 900 to 1,000 dollars, which is crazy. Just for reference, because people always ask where these stores are, Atmos Harajuku is right. Here. There's a Kindle sign on the third floor all the way up there. We're gonna walk a couple of steps and it's gonna be to the left in here. So you gotta push. Elevator, third floor. So the second you step in the store, they got a bunch of Supreme box logo sweaters here. We got some sneakers, Air Force One, Supreme, Air Force Two, some Air Max 90s, Sean Witherspoon, a bunch of Jordan 1s here too, and a lot of cool Air Maxes as well. Here's a bunch of the Supreme shirts that they have out. They got a few of these bags as well, and this is 20,000 yen for this one. It's very popular. I see a lot of people wearing this one, but the black colorway these days here in Japan. They also got this tan one too. I'm looking for a bag, but I'm not trying to spend about $300 on it. I know there's a Nike one for $20 I'm after. Got some Supreme Air Force One mids, the, uh, the NBA collaboration. I think these are absolutely atrocious. I cannot do this all over print. These on the other hand, these are so much better. 85,000 yen though. You guys have got some extra money to donate, you know, size. Eight. Size 8. Man, these are clean though. These are really clean for a uh, secondhand sneaker. Here's a look at some of the Yeezys that they got. They got some Zebra Yeezys, Cream Whites. Ooh, they got the Oxford Tans. For, wow, that's actually a pretty decent price. 65,000 yen. I got these recently in Toronto. They got the Calabasas. They got some Atmos. These came out on my second or third trip to Japan, but the lineup was just way too long. This is my size. Let's look at some of the prices for the BOGOs. We got this gray BOGO here, going for 120,000 yen. Navy blue box logo. This one's going for 120,000 yen also. You can get a used Louis Vuitton t-shirt for about 300 US dollars. They also got some Saint Laurent Paris, some Gucci. They have these really wild wrap Simmons sneakers for 28,000 yen. This print is crazy, guys. And then this designer sneaker really reminded me of the Super Sky Top, the way it has the horizontal lines going across the uh, tongue right there. This is a pretty good find, guys. We got these Air Jordan 3 infrareds in pretty decent condition, going for about 90 or 85 US dollars. This is actually worthwhile if uh, you're looking for a pair of Jordan 3s for the low. I love these, the Juiced collaboration on the Adidas NMD R1s. I bought these on sale in Canada. Daddy, how do you feel about these sneakers right here? Oh, I kind of like them, but you not the color. You kind of like them, yeah? Not the color. Different not the color. color. How about the uh, this, like oh. black and gray colorway? Uh, it depends what outfit. Because these ones are a little worn. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's these look almost brand new. Look at the bottom. Look how clean wow. that, that sole is. Yeah, that's weird. Guess the price of these right now. 150 
150? She guessed 150 dollars. These are in fact 1,600 dollars. Bruh. Supreme cabinet right here with everything Supreme and they even have the Supreme LV stuff here too. Check out the sweater going for about 2,000 Canadian dollars. We got the red and white Supreme LV shirt going for about $1,600. And oh my gosh, stickers. So yeah, stickers. I can afford that. The stickers are only like $10. No big deal. Purple Supreme hoodie. What else? We got some red ones here too with the uh, the embroidery right there on the right side. Got the gray Motion Supreme sweater, purple Supreme bomber jacket, and look at the inside details. There's like a zebra print too. All right, so we're still looking through some of the stuff here, and uh, the employees here actually know me. One of them is a subscriber who see my stuff and was actually really happy to see me here. Told the manager about me, and uh, so that. Now we're going through the Cavemp stuff, and it looks like they have a pretty good selection of stuff here. Got the Undefeated and Bathing Ape collaboration, going for 14,000 yen. And then let's get to the Cavemp. We have this here going for 6,000 yen. Bit of an oversize for a medium. Not too crazy about the design. This white Cavemp sweater is crazy. It's like all beat up and destroyed. I love this thing. How much is this going for? 32,000 yen, size medium. This is from 2015, the Plague Heavy Hoodie. It's actually in really, really good shape. Almost, almost brand new, I want to say. So. Might have to grab this later on. This is surprising to see. They have some Kith, this like peach logo tee for 12,000 yen. This is the Jaws movie collaboration. You guys are gonna see an actual shark, not the uh, the babe shark that we're used to. There's also the Jaws, the bathing ape logo on the side here. And this is going for 32,000 yen. This came out in 2016. I love that at Kindle, you can also see what the actual season or year this item was from. But it says 2016 AW, so pretty useful knowledge if you wanna actually hide for the pieces somewhere else too. This looks familiar. I I have this but in the red colorway and uh, this royal blue colorway is pretty dope. I know my friend Paul Fontabella from California on YouTube, Logos and Wild Honey, he has this. They want 18,000 for this one which is a little bit expensive. Cream zip up work tee going for about 16,000 yen. I like the color of it, yellow, black and white. I might consider copying this, I don't have anything in my wardrobe like this at all so it would be a nice little switch up. Colin, what did you find? Beautiful pants. Oh my gosh. So that was Kindle Harajuku, probably one of my favorite stores in all of Harajuku. Highly recommend you guys check them out. And also huge shout out to the friendly staff and employees at that location. Kitty land, here we come. And this is the front of the store. All shin chand out like crazy. Let's uh, check it out. What do you find, babe? What? Kermit bag. Kermit bags? Oh my gosh. Yo. Yo, they I got Kermit this, mugs too. I don't see like a box for it. You just take this? Yeah, you just take that. Unless. Yeah. Yeah, it's 9,000 yen. I mean, 900. 900 yen? 9,000, I'd die. $100 for a Kermit bag. That'd be crazy. Yeah. To give a better idea of where we are, we're in this very busy and popular street for shopping, and the Luke's Lobster is right here, a popular uh, lobster chain in Japan. Now, to give you an even better idea of where exactly we are, we also have the Adidas Original Store right behind me. There's also a Burton, and then right in front of me, we have this store right here, a buy, sell, secondhand store. So we're gonna go up there, and then after that, we're also going to check out Ragtag, one of the most popular chains in Japan for recycle shopping. So the second you walk inside, you got a bunch of Comme des Garçons shirts. These are just new releases as well, so people went from the pop-up to here to resell it. 
whole lots to choose from. Some designer stuff. We got Y3 sneakers up here. Balenciaga. They got the Balenciaga IKEA collaboration, you could say, for 140,000 yen. This corner of the store has a lot of bape, so some jackets, some hoodies. They also have all the sneakers lined up here too. So a lot of you sneakers. I have these back at home, the Adidas ZX Flux slip-on. Some Air Force Ones. Got an off-white t-shirt for 250 bucks. This Bape jacket is actually pretty sick. It's a Bape bomber jacket going for 28,000 yen. I mess with it and it's my size too. I could grab it. Comme des Garçons Air Force Ones for 50,000 yen. Here's a look at more of the uh, Nikes and Jordans that they got. Here's a selection of Supreme, lots of hats, the uh, Comme des Garçons Supreme box logo, a nasty, we got some Supreme footwear, we got the Jordan 5s, the foam posits, the Air Force 2s. I'm not sure, this might be the 15th anniversary Bape shirt right here, size medium for 9,000 yen, pretty dope. Don't see this too often, this Bape flannel with like this camouflage print on the sleeves, I think it's a little bit ugly. Got this heavily used Supreme tee going for 4,000 yen, it's got the small Supreme tag there on the, uh, the pocket. This is pretty funny, they have the OG colorway of the EQT Boost 9317s in size 9.5 for 25,000 yen. And we saw this exact shoe in this exact size in this exact condition at a different thrift store across the street for about 9,000 yen. And uh, I have a feeling someone just bought it and then brought it here to sell it. So, I mean, that's a come up right there. This is a pretty good price too, the Raph Simmons Stan Smith, size 10 for 23,000 yen. So we just left the top floor of that store, but there's also the first floor on the ground floor, which is right across from the Adidas store. BMS brand My Star Buy and Sell. And this is the window. They got some Bape stuff, Balenciaga, some Supreme, of course. You can go inside too. And this is the floor where you actually go and sell the stuff to the store and uh, get some money from that. Them. Anyways, next up we're gonna go to Ragtag and uh, see what they got inside here. First thing you see when you get onto the men's floor is the array of Supreme Tees that they have. Lots and lots of white Supreme Tees that look basically brand new. We also have some Balenciaga Triple S's of course, a staple for all of these recycled shops. This is $1,700 for the triple black colorway. It looks basically brand new. And then we also have a, another colorway here going for about $1,400. Not the usual Triple S kind of look. It's a little bit different than, um, than what I'm used to. The Balenciaga on the side is what I'm used to seeing. On this one, however, it's a small little tag. Green camouflage Fear of God hoodie for 270 US dollars. Gray Fear of God bomber here for 340 US dollars. Rack Tag's a really big thrift store and it's not as crowded or packed as some of the other thrift stores. You guys can see the layout. They carry a lot more designer brands here and vintage stuff, so if you're looking for high beast kind of stuff, this is probably the last place you want to go. They do carry some Supreme and some other stuff like that, but not at the same level as many of the other stores because Ragtag has a sort of different clientele. As I was saying that, I couldn't help but stare at the uh, Supreme electric guitar, the baseball mask, and whatever this is. Is this like a bookend? I don't even know. Ooh, they even got some Nike Yeezys right here for $2,200 with the OG box, size 10. Oh, it's my size. So coming to Japan for this month, the flight and the Airbnb has cost me $2,800, but those Yeezys were $2,200. I'd rather spend the extra 600 and come here for a month. Now we're heading to the top floor where they have a lot of designer bags and uh, maybe they have something cheap here. They have a lot of Louis Vuitton, like a lot, 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 a lot. But who am I kidding? I'm not gonna find anything cheap designer in this store. 
um, unless it's like completely beat up and destroyed. Here's a quick look at the footwear that they have at Ragtag. We got some Yeezy Boost 750s, some public school sneakers, Shadow Ones, and yeah, here's a look at the other stuff too. Here's also a list of some of the uh, brands that they do carry at Ragtag. Rick Owens, Balenciaga, Givenchy, Balmain, Lanvin, St. Laurent, Paris, Your Home. The list goes on and on and on. This is the space to go for your designer clothing. I absolutely love this Givenchy camouflage tee, but at $650, it's going to be a pass. This is some of their streetwear offerings that they have. A nice little surprise of some Cav Empt in the store. 6,700 yen, size medium. This is such a dope Supreme hoodie, size small. It looks like a medium potentially but uh yeah i like the piping on this sweater i have an adidas sweater similar to this but this red and white with that pop supreme on the logo this is definitely a standout piece that's going to break a lot of necks they even have a camouflage box logo size large for 900 dollars i bought this one from the kindle that i showed you guys at the start of the video but the one i bought was like a b minus condition the one they have here is a b and this backpack this backpack screams mukesh og fire from toronto without a doubt shout out to mukesh How was your shopping day today, babe? Very nice. I got um, some nice pickups, even though I couldn't understand much at the makeup store. I still got a really nice like um, lipstick, like coral lipstick. Those are really popular in Asian countries. So now that we have Natty, we can grab some food. We're gonna grab some lunch at this Thai restaurant I went to last time I was in Japan. All right, so we're done lunch, and basically every single bubble tea place in Japan has a very long lineup. We were here at this location the other day for the tacos, and uh, it's another bubble tea spot. There's a lineup. There's a smaller lineup though. The other lineups look like you have to line up for like an hour. This lineup's maybe like 15, 10 minutes. And then there's another bubble tea spot ahead of me called Coco's, and there's a pretty big lineup for it too. It's at least like 30, 40 minutes. Bubble tea, probably not gonna happen. So I think I found a solution for this bubble tea dessert dilemma, and it involves not getting bubble tea, but instead, McDonald's. One really cool thing about this McDonald's is that you can get your food at the regular counter, or you can go right to the ice cream counter behind me. So I ended up taking a nap after getting that McDonald's ice cream. I was so full and still tired from last night. We're going to get Natty's haircut right now. She's pretty excited, so hopefully it turns out well. And after that, we're going to an American restaurant in Japan called Hooters. Hopefully it's as good as its Texas counterpart. Hello. So our barber gave us complimentary iced coffee and cookies. And check this out. The reading material they have at this barber shop. We got some manga, My Hero Academia, some other dope mangas too. We even got some men's fashion magazines. Oh hey, you just got your hair cut. How do you yeah. feel? Pretty good. I, ne I needed to like come here for the longest time. So we're on our way for dinner right now. Going to uh, Hooters in Japan with my girlfriend. Should be a good time. Hooters now at our table and uh, the menu looks really really American and it looks really good so hopefully the food that we get at our table tastes just as good too. Daddy's excited. You've never had Hooters before have you? <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh my god. 